name is Jackie and this is my channel. I just call it Every Day with Jackie. If this is your first time here, welcome. On this channel, you'll find some vlogs, some lifestyle content, and the rest of my videos are all things beauty. So if this sounds like the channel for you, go ahead and click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll know each and every time that I upload a video. And for my returning subscribers, it's good to see you as always. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, we are going to be shopping our stash. That's right. Out with the old and in with the new. We're going to be shopping our stash and picking up some new products to use for the next two weeks. So if you're ready, let's jump into today's video. So I am going to bring you down so we can just go through the products together. But let me tell you, let me just say that I really don't want to get rid of the products that I was using in my previous shop, my stash. However, I am super excited about the products that we're going to be pulling for today's Shop My Stash because I just recently did a Sephora and an Ulta haul and I am anxious to use those products. So without further ado, I'm going to kind of bring you down. Let me just say no judgment because it is a hot mess in here as always. So we're just going to work around the mess today, okay? Just going to work around it. So I'm going to bring you down and we're just going to start pulling some of our products out and we'll see what we end up with. But first, let's recap the items that we have already been using in our Shop My Stash. And I didn't put them away this time. Um, so I'm going to take out first my little makeup bag because I do have a few goodies inside of here. So I did choose three mascaras to use because I didn't know how long you know, they were going to last or they were going to hold up. So I did choose my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I had that one. And then I had the Lash Princess by Essence. And I also had the Wander Beauty Mile High Club. This one, I'm going to go ahead and retire and put this in my empties. Still have a little bit of this left. I think um, that's this is the one I have on my eyelashes today. But first, I did go in with this earlier during the day when I was getting ready for work. And then just now, you know, before I got ready to film, I touched it up with this. So this has just a little still left in it. But both of these mascaras are keepers. Um, this is still not my favorite mascara, but it's not that bad. But this, yeah, one of my favorites. And I also have in my little makeup bag the eyebrow pencil that we use, which was by MAC. This is their eyebrow styler, and this is in the shade Spike. I love this, and I'm definitely going to repurchase this. I'm so glad that I finally found it. I told y'all it was hiding in the car, so I'm glad I found it, and I've been using it and loving it. So this is definitely going to be a repurchase for me. And I just... Here it is. I also have my eyebrow pencil by Urban Decay, the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. And this is in the shade Zero. And I do have this in my waterline today. I really like this one because to me, it's just not one of those harsh looking blacks. So this is in the shade Zero and I like this one a lot. I like all of the Urban Decay eyeliners that I've tried so far. That's it for what I have in here to show you guys. No, I actually have my Lancome. Sales Booster XL, and this is a eyelash primer. And so I always just keep this in my shop, my stash. So this is definitely a product that I have already repurchased. So, you know, this is a love for me. Okay, so let's move on to my little beauty box here. We do have our Marc Jacobs, and this is their highlighter matte gel eye crayon. This is in the shade brown. And I got this from Sephora, and this was on sale for like $9, I believe. So this was my first time trying this, and I really like it. It goes on really smoothly, and it has great color payoff, and it doesn't fade from my waterline. So this is definitely a keeper. And I mentioned to you guys that I had this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish, and this is in the shade 3 Dark. 
I really have been loving using this. I initially purchased this to set my concealer down underneath my eyes, but I find that I've also been using it to just dust lightly all over the face. So this has been a win for me as well. And then, of course, I've been using my Colored Rain Bronzer in the shade Naughty Spice. Uh, there, there are no words. I just have no words to say how happy I am with this bronzer. I do have it on today, and I just love it. Love it. And I tried out a product from my BoxyCharm, and this is the Maven Beauty Rose Water Setting Spray. Still don't have a take on this. I don't know if it's supposed to make you matte, it's supposed to make you dewy, but I've been liking it. It's been setting my face really nicely, so I have no complaints. I don't feel like it's sticky on the skin or anything, and my makeup looks fine when I get home, so it's doing something. It's a keeper. <laughs> I also have my Morphe Brontour, and this is in the shade Showmance. I didn't use the contour that much this time. I'm not sure why, but I just didn't use it that much. But I had that for a while. You know, I've been kind of indifferent about it, but it's okay. I probably wouldn't repurchase it, but I do like it. But I'm not in love with it. Next, I have a Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. And this is in the shade Summertime Wine. This is their Cheeks Out Cream Blush. And I have this on my cheeks today as well. It's a very pretty color and I like it a lot. I just go in lightly um, with the same brush that I powder my face. After everything is said and done, I just take that same brush without dipping it, dipping it into any more powder and I just go right on top of the blush to kind of set it down. Next, I have my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. Is there any more in here? Is there anything in here at all? Because I have been going in with this product. I like it so much. Today, I used it with my fingers and blended it into the skin. This, I think I'm using more than the Fenty regular foundations. I have been using this like my, I also have this Huda Beauty stick foundation that barely got any use. And y'all know how crazy I am about this. But this, this has just almost been an everyday product for me. I have been using the skin tint nonstop. So I barely use my Huda stick, I think I used this maybe three times. This is what I've been using all the time. But since I have this up, this is the Huda Beauty. This is their um, stick foundation, and I have the shade Mocha. Sadly, this one didn't get much use, but this is in the shade 20, and this Ease Drop Skin Tint is the business. If you haven't gotten it yet, I will put it in my cart. It's the business. And I have this Becca blush, and this is in the shade Nightingale. Been using this as well quite a bit. I actually use this more than I did the Fenty Cream, but I used the Fenty Cream a few times. But I've been using this a lot. I don't know if I'm just kind of nostalgic because Becca's going out of business. I don't know, but I really like this blush. And here we have the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is their Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. And this is in the shade Invisa Pink. Love this. Um, I have been noticing again, and this is what I said initially when I first purchased this, that it seems like I don't have a smooth glide with this, that it tugs. And I've been noticing that again, but I figured it out. If you do not let this sit down, like you can't like go in, put it on there and then go in with your eyeshadow. You kind of have to let this sit, let it dry. And then you get that smoother glide. But if it's still a little tacky, you will not. And I find that I don't like it unless I allow it to sit down and dry completely. Even if I go in with powder on top, it gets a little bit smoother, but I still want to wait until I have it totally dry. So the best way to use it, I feel, is if you put it on your eyes immediately and then go in and do some other things. Like if you do your uh, face first with your foundation or your skin tint, you know, I would go ahead and get a jump start on this so it can start drying down. And then when you get 
to where you want to do your eyes, then it'll already be set. I do have my NYX glitter glue, and this just stays on deck as well. It always stays in my uh, Shop My Stash. Now I have this product here that I'm still a little indifferent about. This is the Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Primer Moisturizer. And I think that's really what it has become for me is kind of like a moisturizer. When I uh, received this in my, I think it was my Lure Box, it was kind of in the colder weather and I wore it. Sometimes I didn't even wear a moisturizer. Sometimes I just wore this instead. And I liked the way it looked on the face. But in these, but I've always said I'm interested in seeing how it would, how it would perform in warmer weather. And now that the weather is quite warm, 94 degrees today, um, I feel like I'm not seeing what it's supposed to do. You know, I just feel like this is more of a moisturizing primer, just as it suggests. I don't see that it's really keeping oils at bay or mattifying the skin. I think it said that it's just supposed to be like a moisturizing, blurring primer. Now, I will say that I have noticed that when you put it on, it does seem a little blurring, but any other, I think you just have to take this at its word. It's a moisturizing, blurring primer. I don't expect anything else from this. So I think I'm going to go back to using this in the colder weather and not so much in the warmer weather. Next, I have this Oh, I told you guys wrong. Next, I have this KKW bronzer. It's a, really a contour, it says, contour nine. But this shade is perfect for bronzing. And I told you guys that I had the Colored Rain bronzer on. No, I have this one on today. Sorry about that. But this is the bronzer I have on. I love all the products that she's made, and I haven't tried that many. But this, I think she got it right. This is a great bronzer, and I like this so much. I think it bronzes up your skin really nicely, and I'm glad I have that one. Next, I have my Too Faced Powder. This is the Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder, and this is in the shade Translucent Medium. And I am not, this isn't going anywhere. I already have another one on standby so i have this one in translucent medium and this one is in translucent medium as well yes i have two of these i like this powder a lot but i didn't buy this intentionally i have to tell you about that story another day <laughs> but i'm glad i have it and then i have this um concealer by the lip bar and this is in the shade four o'clock cinnamon i like mixing this concealer sometimes with my oma beauty which is a kind of a rather matte concealer and a little just a little light under the underneath my eyes so i kind of like mixing them together because this is more of a luminous concealer and so i like to mix this one with a concealer that's a little mattifying. So since I do have this one up as well, this is the Alma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer, and this is in the shade T2, Brown Sugar T2. So I kind of like mixing these together because this one will crease my under eyes or you can, or it accentuates the fine lines. You can see the lines where it starts to separate. So I like to combine this one with something that's a little matte to kind of give it that perfect balance. And I don't really think that I put this in my shop, my stash. I think I pulled this when I was doing my favorites. So this wasn't part of my shop, my stash, but you know, my favorites, it made it to my favorites. So, you know, I really do like this uh, eyebrow pomade by Benefit. I do like it. So right here, I have another powder and this is another powder by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade four deep. And this is the one that I generally dust all over my face. But this shop, my stash, I've been using both of them all over my face. I don't use this for my under eyes. The other one I'll use underneath my eyes and all over the face. But this one is the one I would only use all over the face. And it's very blurring. It just leaves such a nice finish on your face. It looks smooth, silky. So that's a keeper for me as well. And... Excuse me, I don't even think I use my e.l.f. Brow Wow. 
I don't think I used it at all. And y'all know I love this. <laughs> so, yeah, this one didn't get any play. This is, uh, again, the Brow Wow by e.l.f. And this is in the shade Deep Brown. Now, that's amazing because I love that product. Now, I do have this product in here that I did not pull from my Shop My Stash because actually I didn't have it yet. So, this is the Tarte Concealer. This is the Ultra Creamy. And I introduced this when I did my haul, my live. And um, this is in the shade 53N. And the reason that I went ahead and started using this because I wasn't clear if I was going to keep it or if I was going to return it. I am going to keep it. I have been using it. I do like the way I'm, the way it looks under my under eyes. I do like it. Um, I don't think this is really a long wearing concealer um, because I do see the creases in my eyes with it. But um, I do like it. I don't know if I would repurchase it again though. Um, I still need to use it some more. But I just had this in there just because um, I was on the fence about it and I didn't want to wait too long if I was going to take it back. So I threw that in there just to try it out. Next, I have my Pore Blur and this is by uh, Makeup Revolution. And I would just go in and fill in my pores with this and this works great. So I do like that product, not going anywhere. And then I have my um, highlighter by Alma Beauty, and this is the Black Magic Carnival, and this is the shade Barbados. Love that, and I do have that on my skin today. This huge pan is just gorgeous. This is such a pretty highlighter, you guys. I love it a lot, and it smells just like coconuts. And the eyeshadow palette, which I left the other one in the bathroom because I was using it to touch up and get ready today, so let me grab that. Okay, so I'm back. I grabbed the two palettes that I pulled for this month, and both of them were by Huda Beauty. And I have the um, Nude Palette, and this is in the shade Medium. And I really like this palette a lot. I find myself drawn to using a lot of the mattes in here. And when I did my live, I actually had um, this palette on my eyes, along with this metallic shade right here, which generally the metallics are so flaky, I don't even like to use them that much. I had my NYX Glitter Primer on, and I still had a little fallout with this, but this shade um, is just so pretty. It's so pretty. Oh, look at this. Look at how gorgeous that is. So I had that on my lids in my live. It just looks so pretty. And this palette is just gorgeous. Just be ready for a little fallout. <laughs> but if you do your face last, you should be okay. And then this is the other palette that I had. The Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. Another gorgeous palette. And what I like about this is that I've had this for a while, you guys, and I never really played in it that much. I never use this palette that often. And so I got good use out of it this time. And this is the palette that I actually have on my face or on my eyes. <laughs> and I found myself kind of mixing both of these palettes together when I would use them. I would just dip my brush in this one, dip my brush. They just go together really well. So I will use both of them almost every time. But this is what this palette looks like. And when I touched up my eyes after school, you know, just to film, I went in with this uh, palette right here. So this is a shadow right here that I put on my lids right there. And these sh shadows are so creamy, so pretty. Look at that. So I had that on this part of my eyes, and I use this all the time. This is another pretty shade. And I would also go in with this shade right here quite a bit. I mean, her, she has a great eyeshadow formula. I didn't use the metallics that often in here, but I messed around and picked this up one day and I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, that is so pretty. 
this shade is just gorgeous. Oh, it was so pretty. I had to tone it down because I put it in this part, on that part of my eye, and I was like, oh! <laughs> so I had to get my blending brush and try to blend it down a little bit. I was like, I can't go to school with all that shadow on my eye. So that is just such a, these, both of these palettes separately or together are beautiful palettes. Beautiful. They give such great looks. So I was happy that I pulled those and got to play with them just a little bit more. I think those are all the products that we have for our Shop My Stash that we just got finished with. And honestly, I would not be upset to keep these in my Shop My Stash for the rest of the month. I would not because I enjoy using these products so much. But because I purchased new products, I do want to pull them. But let me pull some products that I know I want to test out. I got a lot of good ones, you guys. I'm not going to pull skincare. But I do want to go in with this Icy Sherbet Primer. And this is, um, says Pretty Filter. And this is an Icy Sherbet Primer. And this is by Touch and Soul. So I do want to try this out. So this is going to be a primer that I pull. I picked up this Natasha Denona palette and I was less than thrilled with it but I think this is actually going to be a cute palette for work you know I like those easy simple palettes and I think this might just be the perfect palette for work so I am going to pull that palette as well as these are some of the products that um, came from my boxy charm you guys the primer and that palette right there Okay, in the way of palettes, I'm going to pull this one. And this is the palette that I hauled from Sephora. Don't shoot me, but it is by Huda Beauty. <laughs> it's one of their new palettes. And this is the Caramel Brown palette. And I've been excited to use this. This is their Nine Pan palette. And look how gorgeous this is. Yes, I'm definitely going to pull this. I have been wanting to use that. Well, I actually, I forgot I had it, and I ran across it the other day. I was like, oh, I can't wait to use it. So I'm definitely going to pull this for my shop, my stash. Oh, and I also have this Huda Beauty eyebrow pencil. So I'm going to definitely take my MAC eyebrow pencil out. Just take it up now. And I'm going to put this Huda Beauty in. And I think I got the shade Black Brown. So we're going to add this to our Shop My Stash. I told you there are a lot of products in here that I just really want to try. Yes. And here's another one. <laughs> or else I will not take my Shop My Stash items out. But we are going to use this. And this is a blend, Blendable Sculpting Trio. This is by Kaja. And this is what it looks like. So... This is going to really, this has your blush, highlighter, and I swatched all of this in my live, you guys, and your contour. So I cannot wait. Let's see. Contour is rich in color. Look at that. That is just so pretty. But it looks, does seem like it's very blendable. And highlighter. It's very pretty as well. And blush is silky smooth. So yes, this is going to just cover my bases. So, and this would be perfect for me if I'm running late to just put in my makeup bag as well as this or this. <laughs> just perfect for, you know, if I have to just run out the door. So I have my two palettes. So for 
foundations. I did haul two new foundations and that's perfect because we are going to go ahead and add them to my shop, my stash. And the first one is the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation. I have it in 450N and this is by Rare Beauty. So I'm anxious to try this and see if it is indeed a good match for my skin tone. So we're going to put this in our shop my stash. And I just decided that all of these new items are definitely going to be, like I said, um, a dedicated video for them. And I will be using them also for my shop my stash. Next, I have this Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. And this is in the shade 5W. This is what Sephora matched me to, so I'm anxious to see if this is a good match. And I'm glad I'm not really waiting too long, because if it's not, I need to exchange these products out. But this is what this looks like. And again, I do have a neutral undertone, and my foundation shades are always listed in my description box. But it matched me to, uh, what was it, 5W? So we're gonna see if this works. So I wanna put this in my shop, my stash as well. And also, I picked up a new to me concealer in the correct shade, hopefully. And this is the Born This Way um, by Too Faced Born This Way Super Coverage Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. And I do have one that's definitely in the wrong shade. So um, I use it as a contour. But I really wanted to pick up the correct shade. So this is in the shade Chestnut. And I hope that this is the correct shade. I hope it works really good underneath my eyes. So this is what the shade Chestnut looks like. So I want to use this to see if it works out or if I have to return it. And then I have one last product that I want to try. And again, this is by Rare Beauty. This is their Soft Pinch Matte Liquid Blush in the shade Love. I think it's just gorgeous. So I can't wait to try this and use this one. You guys will have to leave me a comment below and let me know if anything I've shown you this far if you already own it, and if you do, how do you like it? Did it perform well on your skin? What am I in for? Let me know below. So uh, these are all the new products that I am going to be using in my Shop My Stash. I didn't go ham at Sephora or at Ulta. Um, the only other thing that I picked up was the Tom Ford lipstick, and um, I'm not gonna open that one. I already have the sample right here. So if I do want to dip into it, I'll be still using the sample. So let's see. We do still need a setting spray. So I do think I want to stick with this Maven Beauty Rosewater Setting Spray. And I think it's time to put away the dewy finish. And I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up my MAC. Yes, I have the MAC. I have the MAC Fix It. Um, this is the Prep and Prime uh, spray, and this is in matte. It's by MAC, and it's in matte. And um, like I said, this is just their... Fix Plus spray. So I'm going to pick this back up because I surely haven't used this in quite a while. So we're going to use that. And this kind of leaves a... I'm not sure. I want to say kind of leaves a do, but I'm really not sure. But I know it doesn't make me look matte. So we'll have both of those just in case. Mm, my nose is always itching. So let's see. I think now is the time that I'm going to bring you down and we're just going to look through and fill in the empty parts that we're missing. So hold on for a bumpy ride. Okay, let's see. 
I told y'all it was a hot mess, so again, no judgment. I just don't have room, you guys. That's why it's always like this. I need to get more containers. Okay, so for concealers, we're going to be returning our lip bar concealer back and also our Alma Beauty. We're going to be putting this one back and let's see. You guys can see the rest of the mess. This is all the stuff that I just took out of my shop, my sash. I think as far as concealers, um, I am going to go in. Remember last time I pulled, uh, well, last time I think I forgot about this Morphe concealer. And I was thinking about it later and I was like, why didn't you pull that Morphe concealer? So I am going to pull it this time. What shade is this? It looks like it says C445. I will have to check and make sure um, if this is something, if it says a different shade, I'll put it up on the screen. But I do want to take this concealer and use it as well as, let's see, I don't have very many. Oh, and that's the only one because I have the Too Faced concealer that I'm going to use also. So we have two concealers already pulled now. So I'm going to put that in my box. Now let's go in for some of these primers. So I only have really two pore filling primers. So I do think I'm going to pull this Cover FX again. And for primer primer, I think I'm going to pull this Milk Makeup. And I do want to pull, pulled this not too long ago. So I do think I want to pull this Too Faced RX Hangover Primer. I think I'm going to use this one because I haven't used it that much. However, I think I'm going to pull this one. Because I think I've used this one before, but not, I don't think I've actually opened this one yet. So I'm going to pull this one. It's the same thing. It's their Replenishing Face Primer. Let me just make sure. Yes, they're the same thing. So I'm going to pull this little mini size of it along with my Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I'm going to pull this. I'm sorry you guys have to see all my mess, but this room never stays clean because I just don't have enough storage. So, and we also are going to pull the Cover FX. This is a blurring primer for my pores. And then we have this, which is full of stuff. So we're going to put that. Oh. Let's see. Right now, I only have one brown eyeliner. So I think we're going to keep this Marc Jacobs in our shop, our stash. I'm going to put back this Urban Decay. And what am I going to use instead for black liner? Where is my Maybelline? I think it's right here. And the lid came off because I saw it floating around in here. Here it is. So I'm going to be choosing my Maybelline eyeliner from our waterline. This is in the shade Velvet Black. And then we're going to also have this Marc Jacobs. I haven't used that Maybelline pencil in a long time. Since we're in here, let's go ahead and pull our mascara. And that's the hard thing because the mascara is really not going to change because I don't want to keep opening up new mascaras. So we do have this Fenty Beauty that's already open. I've already been using it. So we'll use this. And I still want to finish this off. So I'm going to pull both of these mascaras. This is in the shade... Well, this is the Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara, and this is the shade Because I'm Black. So we're going to pull this one. And we already have this Essence Lash Princess. I love this mascara. Definitely will repurchase this one. Okay. 
what else are we missing? Powders. Oh, Lord. I can't even fit them in here. Oh, I know one powder that I did want to use. Did I just have powders in here? Or did I have Rogers? And... Ugh, I don't know. Okay, so I do want to try this uh, Huda Beauty powder. And this is in the shade Kanafa. I just got this as a sample. I do want to try this out and see how I like it. So I'm going to pull this powder in case I don't like it. <laughs> What else do I want to do? Laura Mercier translucent powder. And then I still need a powder for all over the face. We're going to go in with our Fenty powder. And this is in the shade Nutmeg. Okay, so these are our, our powders. I'll never get this back in here. I have too many powders. So we're taking a Fenty Beauty, Laura Mercier, and Huda Beauty. Okay, this might be the safest. <laughs> okay, I need a bronzer. Oh, no, I do have that bronzer by... Oh, yeah, we're going to use that one by Kaja. Because it's a bronzer, a contour, and a no, it's a contour, a highlighter, and a blush. So I do need a bronzer. And I think last time we were going to pull this Morphe, but then I ended up pulling something else, and I told you guys we would pick it up the next round. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to pull this Morphe, and this is in the shade Phenom. So, yeah, we're going to pull this as our bronzer. I think I would like another blush, though, as well. Um, this is so pretty. But let's... We haven't used this Alamar in a while. So... This is what this blush palette looks like. And this is, in, this is the... Colorette Blush Trio in the shade Dark Rich. Such pretty shades. So let's pull this one as well. Oh, eye primer. Boy, let's see. I do have my MAC Paint Pot that's in my project pan. But I don't have that many uh, eye primers, you guys. So I think I'm just going to pick back up with my... That's what I need to get is some more eye primers. And you know what? Since I've used this cover of X not too long ago, let's pull the e.l.f. instead. We're going to use this e.l.f. putty primer. So it's a poreless putty primer. So I'm going to fill my pores in with this. I will pull my Milani. So we're going to use the Milani eyeshadow primer. And actually, I have the Milani eyeshadow primer, my Urban Decay anti-aging primer, and my MAC Paint Pot. So I am not going to pull this one. I have two primers that I need to focus on, so we'll just use our Project Pan primers. Yes, so let me bring you guys back up. Okay, so I'm sorry to be all in your face, but Lucky is right behind my chair, and he will not back up. So I think that's it, you guys. These are all the products that I am going to be using for my Shop My Stash. For the next two weeks, you know, I do my Shop My Stash um, items for two weeks at a time. So this video will be up on Wednesday. Today's the 3rd on Monday. Uh, so it's Wednesday the 5th that these items will be, well, that this video will go live. But I will start using these items. Today's Monday, so I will start using them tomorrow on Tuesday.
there you have it. That completes today's video. I hope you enjoyed going through my stash with me once again. So if you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell. It just lets you know each and every time that a video goes live and share the channel because you know I don't mind. And lastly, please know that you're always welcomed and wanted here on my channel. And with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and just in case you want to know, Rachel probably wants to know what lipstick I have on. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline. And I use my BFF3 um, lip liner uh, by ColourPop Time Shayla. Okay, so that's it, you guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and have a good night. Bye-bye.